In this video, I'm going to talk about a distinction made in HTML between block level elements and inline elements. So a block level element will start on a new line and take up the full width available, stretching out to the right and left as far as it can. Browsers will also typically insert a new line after the block level element as well. Whereas an inline element does not start on a new line and takes up only as much width as necessary. So let's take a look at some block level and inline elements to see how, to see how this distinction matters. I'm actually going to put a style tag up here and I'm just going to put some set some styles for the background color of these elements just so that way we can actually see the difference more clearly. So I'm going to do a span which is going to be our inline element and I'll set the background color to be light blue. And then I'm going to do the same thing for div which is going to be our block level element and I'm going to set the background color to be light green. And now let's put in our element so we can actually see the difference here. So I'll say div, let's close the div, test open a div, a block level, close the div, element, period. Do a refresh, and we can see what a block level element is going to do. So you can see that they start on a new line. They also end with a new line. And the element itself will take up the full width available. You can see with that background color that it's taking up the full width available, which in this case is the actual width of the, the browser itself. Now for the span element, that's going to be our inline element. We can see the difference here. So if I say span, let's close the span, test, open span, and inline, op close the span, element, period. You can see the difference. That let's will not start on a new line. Same thing with an inline. It's also not going to start on a new line. And that's because the span element is an inline element, and that's its behavior. It takes up only, only as much width as necessary. It does not start on a new line. It does not close with a new line either. So now when we say that a block level element will take up the full width available, what do we mean by available? Well, what we mean is that the element will take up the full width available within its parent element. When an element is contained inside another element, we call that element a child of the other element, which we call its parent. So this div element, that's a child of this body element. And this style element, it's a child of the head element. By default, for an element with the body tag as its parent, the full width of the page is going to be the full width available. That's why in the case of let's and a block level here, it's taking up the full width of the HTML page. But if we were to put a block level element into a parent element with a smaller width, it would only take up that smaller width. So let's try that with a couple divs now, just so we can see what's going to happen. And I'll just get rid of this style here for now, and I'll get rid of these divs and spans there. So let's put a div inside another div, and the parent div is going to have a reduced width, so we can actually see the effect. So let's make our, our parent div here. We'll say div style is equal to, and we'll say width 200 pixels. And just so we can see things more clearly, I'm going to add in some borders and background colors too. So I'll say border, three pixel, solid blue, close the div, and then I'll put in some text. I'll say this is some content, this is some more content, and then I'm going to put a child div in here. And this is the div that its width, its block level width should now be contained by the width of this parent div because it's got a reduced width. So we'll say here div and I'll add in some background color just so we can see it. So I'll say style is equal to background color and we'll make it light blue. We'll close this div and I'm going to put a big sentence here just so we can see the, the div more clearly too. So I'll say here is a long sentence that will reach the edge of its parent element whether it is a div with a limited width or the body tag. And just so we can see the difference, I'm going to copy and paste this div and put it outside of the this, this parent div there and put it such that the body tag is going to be its parent. We'll just change it to light green. Now when we do a refresh here, we'll be able to see the difference between these things. So you can see that in the case of this div here, its width as a block level element is going to essentially be the width of the browser window. 
Whereas for this div here, because its parent element has this reduced width of 200 pixels, we can see that it's contained. It's contained inside of it. And that's what we mean by the full width available. So even though it's a block level element, it's not gonna take up the full width of the page. It's gonna take up the full width available within its parent element. So as of HTML5, technically speaking, the distinction between inline and block level elements has been made into a more complex set of categories. But as a practical matter, the terminology block level and inline are still very widely used and important to know. And this is the essentials of, of how they work. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.